G'day and welcome back to Salem's Travels. My name's Ben and today I just wanted to talk about a little product that a lot of you probably are not aware exists. Everyone knows how handy a UHF can be in your vehicle, whether it's communicating with other travellers or even just the missus when you're reversing in the caravan. And the product I just wanted to mention today is the glass mount UHF aerial. Um, the one I have is from GME. And what I really liked about this was it was a real simple installation. I didn't have to try and run the wire from the inside of the vehicle where the UHF's mounted to the outside, to the front of the vehicle or to the roof. So as you can see, I've mounted my UHF in the roof console. Um, this is probably a throwback to me spending too much time in old noisy trucks where you struggle to hear the UHF. This particular UHF has the speaker mounted in the base and as you can see there, the sound can come straight through and I can hear it easily. Not that that is really a problem. So the aerial for this unit is mounted almost directly in front, which was uh, great as I didn't have to really worry about running wires or passing them through the dash or into the front of the vehicle. So you can see here the coaxial cable which comes out and goes into the back of the UHF unit. And then you've got this box here which just glues to the windscreen. And then on the other side we mount our aerial. And the aerial again just glues to the windscreen and you can see it's a low profile aerial. Out here on the flat where I live, I seem to have a range on the UHF with this aerial about 20 kilometers, which is really good for a UHF. Uh, obviously in the hills that would come down a bit. It's also great if you spend a lot of the time in the city and you have to deal with underground car parks or car wash. There's a number of reasons why a little aerial like this might be more suited to what you need. Just make sure when you install the aerial that you do keep in mind where the windscreen wiper sweeps. Well, as always, if you enjoyed this video, then please give us a like. And if you want to see more from Salem's Travels, then hit that subscribe button. Hooroo!